Good afternoon, dear colleagues. Uh, good afternoon, uh, the board, the guests. I am very thankful for the opportunity to talk in front of you. Today we will be talking innovative methods of the treatment of the ovarian cancer. Everything that we will be talking about uh, is a research and scientific program that is uh, conducted in our scientific and research center named by Petrov under the leadership of Professor Berlev and Professor Iminitov. We have been talking about the fact uh, that the treatment of epithelial cancer, ovarian cancer, is a difficult task, a multi-component. It's an aggressive tumor, very aggressive tumor. According to the Stephen Narod, during 10 years after the treatment, who received page, uh, treatment uh, because of advanced cancer, nearly all of them, they died as a result of relapse. Uh, mostly the diagnosis is made at uh, the advanced stage. Igor has already mentioned, and Alexei, that the primary optimal site reduction in different hospitals vary greatly. Uh, in some hospitals, uh, there is 24%. In some hospitals, are the Dubois team uh, showed 33% of primary optimal site reduction. Mostly, it's a high-grade type, and it has mutation P53 and BRCA, BRK1 and 2 mutations. The carriers of mutation in BRK1, uh, they develop not only ovarian cancer, but uh, breast cancer as well, and syndrome of the hereditary cancer of uh, breast cancer and ovarian cancer in the Russian Federation varies in the range of 15 up to 20%. Today, the standard of the first line of chemotherapy is a combination of uh, surgical treatment plus chemotherapy, platina plus toxins. Unfortunately, the first line of chemotherapy doesn't depend on the status of BRK1 and BRC2 genes. We have PARP inhibitors. Solo one, solo two, according to the results of these trials. Uh, but uh, it doesn't uh, introduce uh, any changes as to the tactics of treatment. Undoubtedly, that for patients with advanced uh, oncological process with uh, a uh, great uh, tumor burden in the abdomen and in the minor pelvis. It's important to select correctly the first phase of the combined treatment. What shall we start with? Uh, with surgical treatment or chemotherapy? It's very important point. Uh, the importance of the surgical phase of the treatment is uh, proved. Uh, in many trials, but unfortunately, there are some limits, limitations, uh, regardless of uh, the technicality, technique, and uh, skills of a surgeon, mostly depends on the biological specific features of the tumor. In the majority of cases, we are talking about the alternative to the primary site reduction, maybe neoadjuvant chemotherapy. If we are talking about specificities, biological uh, specificities of a BRCA associated ovarian cancer, oh, we should talk here about a unique therapeutical window. 
we shall use uh, our knowledge about biological specific features of BRCA associated tumors. What is a therapeutic window? Clinically, uh, it shows a high sensitivity, chemical sensitivity of this tumor. In 2015, we shows high sensitivity of this type of tumor to platinum in the group of BRCA positive comparing to sporadic or wild type. It depends, it relates to these therapeutic windows. Each cell in a healthy person contains two uh, genes of BRC1 and BRCA2. But in a careers of mutation, one of these genes is inactivated, and reparation happens uh, uh, happens as a loss of a BRCA copy of the genes, one of the copy of the genes. And uh, these tumors, they are more sensible to DNK, DNA damaging agents. As to effectiveness of toxins, uh, talking about uh, the cell line works, it's uh, low effectiveness of tubular medications in this respect. As are the DNA damaging medication that can be very important and effective metamycin. In our institute since 2014, we have been carrying out uh, the scientific work studying the effectiveness of mitomycin uh, treating BRCA positive ovarian cancer. Here we use uh, mitomycin in mono regimen as a third or fourth line of chemotherapy therapy, and 25% at objective responses after relapses. In 2017, based on these studies, uh, we conducted a pilot trial where we studied a combination of mitomycin plus cisplatin as the first line of neoadjuvant regimen in case of advanced locally advanced cancer. Look, please, the main prognostic marker, the full morphological response of the tumor in 33% uh, mitomycin cisaplatin in control group, 12%. Having had these results, now we will present an intermediate results of a prospective randomized trial that started since October 2020. The trial is registered in the register of the clinical trial and started since 2020 October. The design of the trial Patients will randomize two groups, the group of mitomycin plus cisplatin and the standardized paclitaxel carboplatin group. Patients with an advanced ovarian cancer, third and fourth grade, patients who can't tolerate optimal uh, side reduction as a first phase of treatment. All the patients during the first phase of treatment before making decision as to use a cytoreductive operation of neoadjuvant chemotherapy, or we performed a diagnostic laparoscopy. It's a protocol of a European Association of Gynecologists that we use to assess uh, the advancement of the peritoneal cancerematosis. Well, the first intermediate results, May 2021. Please look.
eight patients in uh, one group and eight patients in another group. The uh, response, objective re response in mitomycin, 87% versus 50% in conventional chemotherapy group. What shall you notice, dear colleagues? First of all, the patients, uh, the carriers of BRCA mutation 2, they all responded maximum. Uh, they uh, responded as a patomorphosis of the third degree. What else uh, we would like to show? It's a mutation in uh, P53 gene. They demonstrated high intertumor heterogeneity. Each patient has its own mutation, her own mutation in P53. Uh, we will analyze this further on in the following studies. Here we can see their safety profile, adverse events uh, that we seen, that we swore. They were not different into two groups. Morphological response for neoadjuvant chemotherapy, and we use BOOM methods in the major amentum, 100% in a trial group, comparing to conventional group, 62.5%. Here we show the number of cycles of chemotherapy in the trial group, mitomycin plus cisaplatin, uh, three cycles uh, were sufficient. Uh, the 87% uh, uh, they were ready for complete cyclic reduction, comparing to another group, 37%. Only 37% were ready for their complete debulking operation. 87% in mitomas and cis platin group, they received the full regimen of near adjuvant chemotherapy with a good response to go through interval cytoreductive operation, comparing to paclitaxel and carboplatin group. But, dear colleagues, I'd like to speak about the fact that in our trial we noticed and we registered that during neoadjuvant chemotherapy, in some cases we saw a rapid expansion of uh, tumor-resistant cells during chemotherapy. Uh, the reasons for this may be heterogeneity of the primary tumor. In the tumor, there are two clones. One clone, it's a deficit uh, uh, with the downgraded function of the gene, and the other part, it's an upgraded function of the gene. There may be two ways. There may be selection with a good pathomorphological regression or expansion when uh, Resistant cells, so they start to expand. Clinical case patient, advanced ovarian cancer, T3N1, M1, uh, the BRC1 mutation. Before treatment, uh, the cancer hematosis of the peritoneum uh, the involvement of the pelvic and uh, groin lymph nodes with larger uh, confluating lesions with involvement of uh, their amentum lymph nodes, uh, involvement of the spleen, uh, their uh, small bowel, the patient. Uh, had a laparoscopy performed 
with the PCI index was 15% before the treatment. After chemotherapy, the patient was assessed as a partial regress of the tumor. After diagnostic laparoscopy, the PCR index was 4. Here we see the results of diagnostic laparoscopy after three regimen of neoadjuvant uh, chemotherapy, mitomycin plus cytoplastine, uh, the second degree of response in ovarium and uh, the third degree response in the amentum. We would like to show that it's very important to study the tumor uh, before the start beginning of the treatment uh, when we can assess the status of tumor, its heterogeneity. Then patient receives uh, neoadjuvant chemotherapy with assessment of the response, and then she is being prepared for interval debulking surgery. It's very important to define the clones of the cells. Uh, this patient, uh, we have found uh, the clones with the restored function of the gene BRCA1, and then uh, paclitax cell. Doxyrubicin regimen was administered. Now the patient in clinical remission, disease-free survival 36 months and overall survival 44 months. The conclusion and prospects, first of all, and uh, Igor has already mentioned this, it's necessary to use a multidisciplinary approach. When each patient we discuss multidisciplinary and decide uh, defi decide on the regimen of treatment, it's impos it's po it's very important to use biological specific features in case of BRCA associated ovarian cancer as a first line uh, therapy. Uh, we uh, it's a prospective randomized clinical trial. Uh, we are assess uh, mitomycin cisplatin regimen comparing to a standardized treatment. Neoadjuvant chemotherapy may lead to very rapid replacement in the tumor clones with the preserved function of BRCA1 and BRCA2. Uh, when we registered uh, these changes in the tumor with expansion, um, they may result in the changes in the changes of the algorithm of treatment. At the end, I'd like to show our large multidisciplinary team. Each member of this team takes into account all the factors and decides on the regimen of each individual patient.